Good morning, everybody. Welcome to episode 252, day like five or six here in Sturgis. Um, the girls are actually going to go ride over and meet up with our Michigan family, and uh, they're all going to do some riding this morning. I'm headed back to Black Hills Holly Davidson, hopefully, to get my seat done this morning, and then I will meet up with them later on in the day. With that being said, I don't have a lot of time to talk now. We'll talk there. See in a few. Hi, I'm here at Black Hills Holly Davidson. I'm over in the other vendor area, not their big vendor area. I'm here at Master Lugos. They're getting my seat all set up, but my seat pan was actually broken. So they had to, what they call Frankenstein it back together for me, because there really wasn't any other option. So anyway, they uh, put it all back together for me. Now they're getting ready to shave some of the foam, put some more foam on it, and of course, um, put a new cover on it. So I'll show you some of the work he's doing here when he gets done talking to these people. Hang out for just a few. Oh, there he goes, starting to work on it now. There's, there's the old piece of junk all apart. I can't complain too much. It's been a pretty good seat. Well, I guess while we're here waiting on our seat, we'll kind of show you around. There's Angel Adams set up there. The iron braid over here. Got the bikini bike wash over here. And they're lined up for that. They're definitely going to need bike washes after the weather this week. Tires over there. All kinds of vendors up and down the rows here. And then this is the small parking lot. If you go over to the actual dealership, which is just over here, um, they have all the big vendors there. Vance and Hines, all of those. So lots of vendors here. You can find about anything you need for your bike. Even though I couldn't find a seat, I found somebody to actually make my seat better and uh, repair it. So. Goes it is. We'll see what we really think about it. So the cool part is he brings it out, has me sit on it, looks at how it fits me, shaves it down, brings it out, has me sit on it, looks at how it fits me, adjusts it, and then uh, makes sure it fits me just perfectly before he puts it all back together with a little extra foam in it. So anyway, I can't wait to ride it, see it, see if I feel a difference. Putting the foam on now. all soft and comfy when I'm done. I can't wait. It's been a long time since I've had a good seat. The seat's been fun. It's been a long time since I've had one that hasn't had duct tape on it. So I'm pretty excited just to not have duct tape on it. Hi guys. So when your seat cover is completely shot, they basically have to recreate it to build you a seat cover. All that extra work just because my my shit's destroyed. All right, he's over here sewing it together now. Get that out. Craftsmanship. People actually putting stuff together, repairing stuff, not just throwing it away and replacing it. I dig that. There needs to be more of that in the world. Less, oh, this is broken, let's throw it away. More, this is broken, how can we fix it? Um, just think of the waste. You know, we're always talking about global warming and all the waste and everything. Imagine how much waste we could prevent if we started fixing stuff again, instead of just throwing it away and getting a new one. Think about that. All right, it's going back together with orange, with orange, Red. Look at that. You guys are awesome. It's like I know what I'm doing. Like you've done it once or twice. Just once. Look at that. Awesome. They also did the back pad for my sissy bar. So they'll be all matchy matchy. You know me because matchy matchy is important to me. Not really. It'll look good. I'm excited to get it done. Getting closer. At the 
got it all done. Here it is. Get the back pad to put a little orange stitching in it. I'm fancy, I know. Anyway, now I gotta figure out where Angie and Baby Badger are so that I can go find the group. Here we go. Okay guys, so you're in for something a little different in today's video because um, I was in one place, Mama Badger was in another. So you're going to see like vertical video in this that she shot on her adventures. So you get kind of a combo, what I was doing um, at the dealership, getting my seat all done, and then what she was doing out riding. So um, stay tuned. Good morning Badger Nation, Angie Mama Badger here. Is that baby? The Badger somewhere in Rapid City so he could get a new seat. Yep. We're at Stone House, which is located what? The saloons? It's like you're going to Wyoming. I don't know that we're in Wyoming. Are we in Wyoming? We don't so, know and no. we don't care because we're riding today and that's exactly what we wanted to do was get out and ride. We'll catch up with Sunny later. But today is Topless Tuesday. Whoop, yeah, whoop. no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> All right, well, that's today. I just wanted to say good morning. Have a great one. Death 
Yes, it's a shop. Ah, they got a lot of cool antique stuff up here. Hi, guys. <laughs> Baby badger down in the hole. <laughs> been into the park itself so this is a new experience and I've got my park pass book to get stamped but of course Sunny has the actual pass to get in so I'm trying to send him a message which I don't have very good cell service and see if he can at least send me a picture of it and then I'll have to pay and I only have to pay for her but I think you can like have somebody with you, like a guest or something too. So I don't know. We'll see if Sunny gets the message or not. And, and until then, get to enjoy that freaking awesome guys. You guys gotta come check this thing out.
I am hungry. Not sure what's happening next, and that's what I love about it. My oh. nap this afternoon was awesome. Uh oh, did you seriously? I did. <laughs> Coming back to the hotel. And well, I'm like, my ride was awesome, and my friends as well. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to this guy because he was our tour guide for the day. Did a good job. Yes, Missed the rain because he's the man. <laughs> I, I follow the badgers enough. I've learned a lot. Right. There you go. Thanks, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So another day in Sturgis. You'll never guess. It's fucking raining again. Anyway, I'm headed to Deadwood to meet up with the girls for dinner and uh, the rest of the crew from Michigan. I didn't go to the uh, Topless Tuesday. It was like two hours away, and I was tired. So I literally just went to a friggin' nap. Anyway, let's see if we can catch up with the rest of the crew. I have to admit, I have had my feel of rain. I'm about sick and tired of it. working. Imagine that. Alright. Food is consumed. Now we have about an hour ride back to the hotel. It's like 9.30. So, might be a chilly ride home. But here we go. That is it. That's a wrap. It's like 11 o'clock. What time is it? Anybody know? It's freaking late. It's like 11 o'clock. I got a couple hours of editing to get this video out for you tomorrow. So it's going to be one of those late nights. That's funny. It was a little chilly coming home. It's going to be a long home. video because mine's yeah. 10 minutes, so. <laughs> well, this is the ending, so. Oh, it's going to be long. Anyway. Sorry. That was funny. Um, That's we minutes. are uh, going in now to uh, get this video edited and call it a night. So we will see you guys tomorrow.